Hello friends, Jerry's here, and welcome back to Fantasy Blacksmith. Um, today, we are going to be doing Damascus. We have our three swords from the last section. So, we're going to toss our steel in there, and we're going to start with the iron sword, because we can. You just reach it in there and hope it works. Um, Damascus, you have five large and five small plates. You have... You got to put it in three layers, exactly as it says. And there are... Two repeats of each metal type. You cannot stack those metals on top of each other, or it's not good. So, first one, I always put to the left. It works for me. There's no rhyme or reason to why I do it. This one's the same, so it has to go next to it. This is another, another big one. That's weird. Okay, a small one. So let's finish off the first layer. Uh, another one. So that's going to be pretty good for us, because that means we're going to get a bunch of small ones together. So you can just go there, and the rest should be small. I'm going to put you there just in case. Um, there's going to be a gold one coming, so I need to put that there. Perfect. I was tempted, I was tempted to put it right next to it. Perfect. Okay. We're gonna bring that over. We need our Damascus. We need our stuff. Okay, now our sword is right here, and we put that there. Now with Damascus, um, it's a little tricky. It's very tricky. I still struggle with it. We're gonna put our iron in. Put our acid in. Um, once again, as I said in the first first part of this, some people put the whole thing in, some people don't put the whole thing in. I put the whole thing in because you can't reuse it, uh, which probably makes my life harder. It's probably why I'm not doing so well at it. It's probably a certain ratio you're supposed to use. Um, you're trying to get this color. Right there. I think. That was right. Now we're trying to match this to this color by adding this. Uh, dump a little. Let it sup. Let it sup. A little more. A little more. Oop, there it is. That might have been too much. Okay. Four. Um, how's that? Perfect. There we go. That's how you do it perfectly, apparently. Um, I'm going to put the handles on. Because I have the time to do so. So I'm going to get these ready too. So that needs about three to five minutes. So right before the seven is when we're ready to go with that. So we're going to put this handle on. And then we're going to probably put Damascus on one of the other swords while we're waiting for it to be done. That's fine. Uh, there really isn't a trick to this. It's basically just a skill check, so you just gotta, you know, do what works for you. Whatever method works for you here, I can't necessarily tell you wrong because it's working right so we have a little bit of time so let's do our Elendor sword now okay so first try boom and that goes in first one I like to put all the way to the left because it works for me second one I'm gonna put there and the third one's small so I'm gonna finish off the bottom one Small one, I'm going to put all the way to the left. That needs to go over here. This can go in the middle. Now time for our last layer. You go all the way to the left. Hey, watch out because I'm going to have a silver one which is going to go right there. And that one will go up there. And that will go next to it. Okay, 
So this one is ready to go in the water. Now that's in the water, it's done. We're not ready for that. So we'll take that out. Looks beautiful. Great. And we gotta set up our next one. And we have just a few minutes left. So now we're gonna do our this one. Our silver sword. Toss that in there. Put that in there. Long one goes to the left. Next one all the way to the left. You can go in the sand. That's a dangerous spot, actually. You go all the way to the left. You cannot go. a small one in there. Put you over here. It's gonna be weird. Put you all the way over here. Put you there. And I should have a long one which is gonna ruin me. That's okay though. We'll take it. We'll take good. Doing three in a row. So I, I should have thought about that. I'll take it. You know what? I'll take it. So the first step is the iron. Next step is the acid, which we're just going to pour all of it in. Once again, some people don't use all of it. It's probably easier if you don't use all of it, but I just use all of it. Trying to get this color. I think that's where it needs to be. Looks like it needs to be a little darker. I'm gonna put just a touch, touch more on it. Okay. Cause I think that's right. I have no idea. That's really red. Is that? It's bad. Okay. Well, we did we did one of them good. You're ready to go in here. can't even tell. Uh, you can kind of tell. <laughs> but it's bad, so... Okay. That should be long enough. Toss it in there. It, it really doesn't matter. It was already bad anyway. Uh, it looks terrible. Okay. We did one perfect and two bad, so I'll, I'll take it. Just a shire. Okay. So that's going to do it for our Damascus tutorial. So, we're going to... Hello friends, Jerry is here, and welcome back to Fantasy Blacksmith. Uh, we're going to be finishing up our three swords we made in the last two parts? Two parts? Three parts? I don't know yet. So, we're going to start with this one. We're going to sharpen them. And, uh, you know, once again with this, it does not need to be, like, perfect, perfect. I think 97, it gives you excellent. Uh, we're gonna toss you over there. Next sword. Erendor. Alright. might actually end up just being one continuous video. Um, I thought these would take, each part would take a little bit longer. But we'll see. Toss. Okay. Uh, take you. It does look pretty cool. Even, even bad Damascus looks good. Right. 
toss you over there. Now we're going to set up our altar here. We're going to take our clover. And for consistency, we're going to take copper, which is not the best item that we have. Well, I can't change my mind out to actually now, so that's fine. Just make sure you're committed to whatever you're putting on there because you cannot change your mind after. Clover. Boop. Copper. Boop. And Elendor. Great. Clover. And copper. Okay. And great. Uh, I'm going to bring three crystals up. If three crystals up, and I'll bring the swords up. Okay, we have all three of our swords, we have our crystals up here, so we're going to be enchanting each one with the fire element, which we just went past. Excellent. First thing I do with this is I, I always just take the parts that need to come out. Out. Makes my life easier at the end. And then it's just this sh shuffling mini game. Um, not too hard to do. Just gotta do it. Oh, fire. That's a good sword. Place. Crystal. Place. Elendor. Oh, yep. Place. I like that my runes reset. As if I could just move them around. Next one, we are crystal first. Grab the crystal. And our sword. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep, that's interesting. Great. <laughs> Once again, the parts that we took out the first time are miraculously back on the table. <laughs> that we made in this uh, tutorial series are tempered. They have all, pretty much all the fixings. This one also has magic. It is a frost fire sword, which apparently is not a good thing to do. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's it. We made our swords. We have a ton of money still left over, so we could probably do another tutorial series if we wanted to and start all over but uh yeah i hope that this helped you if you watched it thank you that's it say bye kevin or not
All right. Well. Uh, do. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track Keep my head up, staying strong, always moving on Feel I don't belong, tell my boss to move along